the military is equipped with monstrous, grisly vehicles to tackle land, air, and sea, helping the indomitable soldiers across the globe protect their respective countries. And, although they're definitely not toys, they all look like a blast to drive or fly around. Lucky for you, there are a ton of military vehicles you can actually own if you're willing to do a little digging. You might assume that all used military tactical vehicles are expensive, but the prices for the variety of vehicles available to civilians range from affordable to expensive as hell. Today we will show you the top 10 military vehicles. Before watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Next on our list comes the MK-10 Chieftain Tank. Throughout the 1960s to the 1970s the MK-10 Chieftain Tank was the top dog in the United Kingdom. It was the first tank in service to utilize the Cobb Hom armor upgrades, making it a brutal battlefield bruiser. The Chieftain has a heavily sloped hull and turret, elevating the effectiveness of its frontal armor and it packed a 120mm L11A5 rifled gun that's able to fire a variety of ammunition, however, its main ammo was the high explosive squash head, HESH, and armor piercing discarding SABO, APDS. Its secondary armament is a coaxial L8A1 7.62mm machine gun. Made with non-reactive armor, the tough tank is able to travel 30 miles per hour on the paved road and 19 miles per hour rough terrain. Some of these beasts are now used for TV shows. The Chieftain tank continued to be upgraded in protection and mobility. The Chieftain was modified and exported to several Middle East countries where it remains in service and has seen active combat. Next comes the Humvee. It is also called as the high mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicle is a family of light, four wheel drive, military trucks, and utility vehicles produced by AM General. After going through a replacement process, the joint light tactical vehicle, JLTV, was chosen as its successor. It is the core of the US Army's vehicle fleet and it comes in 17 variations. It took the place of the Jeep taking over the duty of being the primary wheels for personnel and light cargo transport behind the front lines. In 1996, the M1114 Humvee was created, providing armored transportation for soldiers. Made from hardened steel and bullet-resistant glass, the M1114 Humvee is able to protect passengers from small arms fire. These vehicles are highly customizable with a plethora of options, including a winch with a maximum load capacity of 6,000 pounds, supplemental armor, and mounting for the M134 minigun. The Humvee is produced in high numbers so there's plenty out there for civilians to purchase. Next comes the FV432 armored personnel carrier is part of the FV430 series used by the British Army, in which all are built on the same chassis. This track design has the engine sitting at the front and the driving position to the right with the hatch for the vehicle commander placed directly behind the driver. When armed, these monstrous transport vehicles are usually packing a pintle mounted L7 GPMG, general purpose machine gun, to go along with the two three barrel smoke dischargers at the front. The FV432 is powered by a Rolls Royce K60 multi fuel engine capable of 240 HP. Although an upgraded version is still being used today, you can find a few older ones on sale. Next comes the OT-64 Scott. Developed by Poland and Czechoslovakia, the OT-64 SKOT, Sredni Koloi Opancer Zoni Transporter, is an amphibious armored personnel carrier. There are different variants that seated anywhere between 2 to 18 passengers. Some were built for air defense and others were re-equipped as tank hunters, using the AT-3 Sager missile. It has a full armored interior and packs an air-cooled Tatra T928-14V8 diesel engine capable of 177 horsepower. You can find a rusty fixer upper for around $10,000 or get lucky and find a restored classic for about $20,000. Next comes the Sikorsky A-60A Black Hawk helicopter. In June 1979, 
the Sikorsky U-60A Black Hawk helicopter entered service with the U.S. Army's 101st Combat Aviation Brigade of the 101st Airborne Division. The Nimble War helicopter made its combat debut during the invasion of Grenada in 1983. It also played a role in the largest air assault mission in the U.S. Army's history during the Gulf War in 1991 where more than 300 Black Hawk helicopters were used. The battlefield bird can carry 11 troops and lift up to 2,600 pounds internally and 9,000 pounds via an external sling. It's equipped with high-tech avionics and electronics, such as the Global Positioning System for superior survival capabilities. This one will definitely make a dent in your wallet. Next comes the Polaris MV850. If you're going rogue and need to complete a solo mission, the Polaris MV850 is the single-seat off-road titan of your dreams. This all-terrain vehicle is built to lug around up to 850 pounds of military-grade payload through extreme terrain. It's powered by 4-stroke SOHC twin-cylinder engine with 88 HP. To tackle the chaos of off-road landscapes, the MV850 has dual A-arm suspension with heavy-duty shocks and an all-wheel drive system with electronic power steering. It also has a full underbody skid plate, keyless ignition, and a worn winch capable of pulling 3,000 pounds. Civilians can get a Polaris MV850 straight from the factory. Next comes the Paramount Marauder. It comes with the muscle to carry a payload of up to 10,000 pounds, the 290 bhp Paramount Marauder is a burly vehicle built to endure any battlefield. In fact, it's a mine protected vehicle able to withstand explosions from 17 pounds of TNT. Made by Paramount Group in South Africa, the Marauder was developed for reconnaissance and peacekeeping missions. Its double-skin monocoque hull can protect its passengers from projectiles up to a Stanag 4569 Level 3, which includes grenade and mine blasts activated under any wheel or track location. You can order a civilian version of the Marauder just in case a zombie apocalypse does break out. Next comes the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6X6. When military personnel face the ferocity of Mother Nature off the beaten track, they turn to the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 Beast to help them punch through the landscape. The uncompromising vehicle has an advanced automotive transmission with modes for on- and off-road conditions. It features a compressor to reduce or increase tire pressure so it can adjust the traction easily to any driving surface it encounters. This means you can transition from powdery deserts to paved streets in less than 20 seconds. It's packing a twin-turbo V8 with an output of 536 HP and 561 LBFT of torque. The vehicle was launched in early 2013 but sales of the car stopped in early 2015 to maintain exclusivity. Next comes the DUKW. It is a six-wheel drive amphibious vehicle used by the US military during World War II and the Korean War. These rugged vehicles were used on the D-Day beaches of Normandy, carrying the brave American souls looking to paint Nazi uniforms red. They have a top speed of 50 miles per hour on rough terrain and 6 mph on water. Police, fire departments, rescue units, and even tourist transport companies all use the DUKW, so it's found a new purpose after military service. A plentiful amount of DUKW vehicles were made for the American military and 2000 were supplied to Britain during its time in battle, offering you plenty of opportunities to land one. Next comes the Patria AMV. It is also known as, Armored Modular Vehicle. It was developed by the Finnish company Patria Vehicles in close cooperation with the Finnish Defense Forces. The Patria AMV is in serial production and more than 1,400 vehicles have been ordered. It has been selected by Croatia, Finland, Poland, Slovenia, South Africa, United Arab Emirates and Slovakia. The production of the XA series wheeled armored personnel carriers started in 1984. Since then Patria Vehicles has manufactured uninterruptedly more than 1,200 XA series armored wheeled vehicles in many different versions. The vehicle weighs between 14T and 24T according to the armor and weapons systems, ammunition, and crew. 
but that enough for today. Let us know in the comments below which the best military vehicle you think is or maybe there is something even better than this. See you next time.